Okay, so good morning everyone. So today we have our new topic or we have a new discussion about the origin of astronomy. About 10,000 years to the time of the first civilizations and the earliest astronomers who already figured out how to use the sky. In some cultures, they were priests and other elites who studied the movement of celestial bodies to determine rituals, celebrations, and planting cycles. With their ability to observe and even forecast celestial events, these people held great power among their societies. This is because the sky remained a mystery to most people. And king. The Queen Mathilde or the Tilly Du Conquest is an embroidered fabric made in Normandy or in England in the second half of the 11th century. It depicts the key events relating to the Norman Conquest on England, culminating in the Battle of Hastings. Ancient astronomers' contributions recorded the, lo the locations of the sun, moon, and the five visible. I mean, visible planets tracked the motion, motions of heavenly bodies and predicted their future positions. Chinese kept accurate records of guest stars. 8,000 BC Warren Field. Warren Field. Sorry, sorry. So, <clears throat> um, a team of British archaeologists has discovered what they believed to be the oldest calendrical monument known anywhere in the world, created by hunter-gatherer societies in Scotland. It's broadly aligned in the directions of midwinter sunrise, um, in the direction perpendicular to the line of peaks. And, it, and this was framed among prominent hills to the southeast, but also appears to mimic the faces of the moon in order to track the lunar months over the course of a year. <clears throat> over here, we have the 4900 BC Gosic Circle or Hinge. Gosic Circle or Gosic Hinge is an early Neolithic hinge structure with entrances oriented the uh, oriented to the rising and setting solstice. It was apparently created by Europe's first civilization long before the cultures of Mesopotamia and the pyramids of Egypt. Dubbed the German Stonehenge, the structure has been radiocarbon dated to 4900 BC. Hundreds of similar wooden circular ridges just like it were built during a 200 year billion uh, <clears throat> 200 year period around the same time it is one of the most best studied of the of the more than 250 ring ditches identified by aerial surveys throughout germany austria the Czech republic slovenia and croatia previously archaeologists had thought that these hinges might have sim uh, simply been ancient fortifications. It also considered one of the oldest solar observatories in the world. <clears throat> 4,500 BC of Karnak megaliths. The Karnak stones have been uh, one of the most puzzling archaeological artifacts in the world for hundreds of years. These megalithic stones exist around the village of Karnak in Brittany, France. The stones demonstrate alignments, dolmens, and other ancient geometry, which is consistent with other prehistoric sites. Um, but we should not have existed in the period which they which they were constructed. This is the largest um, such collections of stones in the world. <clears throat> 3,500 BC, Pentry Fine. The most popular megalithic site in Wales, Pentrith, uh, Wales, Pentrith, and is a splendid boreal chamber with a huge capstone delicately poised in 
three upgrades. Venture Fund means Ivan's Village. <clears throat> 3200 BC New Range Tomb. New Range is a stone um, age monument in the Boyne Valley Country, Myth, Ireland. It was built about 3200 BC or 5200 years ago during the Neolithic period which makes it older than the Stonehenge and the Egyptians' pyramids. New Range is a large circular mound with a stone passageway and chambers inside. The mound is ringed by large stones known as curved stones, some of which are engraved with artwork. 3,000 um, Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a massive stone monument located in a chalky plain north of the modern-day modern city of Salisbury, England. Stonehenge is just one part of a larger sacred landscape that contains many other stone and wooden structures as well as burials. 3000 BC um, Sumerians. Sumerians and it is... Um, and its star chart. Among the first um, astronomers mapping the stars into sets of constellations, many of which survived in the zodiac and were also recognized by the ancient Greeks. They were also aware of the five planets that are visible to the naked eye. The constellations of Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, and Sagittarius, Sagittarius, um, were invented with these zodiac constellations also marking the path of the sun, moon, and planets throughout the year. 2500 BC Egypt Pyramids The ancient Egyptians built pyramids as tombs for the Paros as their queens. I mean, and their queens. The Paros were buried in pyramids of many different shapes and sizes from before the beginning of the Old Kingdom to the end of the Middle Kingdom. The three largest and best preserved of these were built at Giza, at the beginning of the Old Kingdom. The most well-known of these pyramids was built of, for the Paro Khufu. It is known as the Great Pyramid. So, <clears throat> 2000 BC first solar calendar. The first solar calendars were put into, uh, into use in Egypt and Mesopotamia, known as solar calendars. These calendars consist of 12 lunar months. The calendar is not linked to the seasons and drifts by 11 days every year. Coming back to its original dates um, every 33 Islamic years. We have the 1450 BC Egypt sundials. The sundial is one of the world's oldest scientific instruments designed to tell the time to the nearest hour. The ancient corruption was first created by the Babylonian and Egyptian civilizations and works by measuring the sun's movements around the sun. I mean, across the sky. 1400 BC China's recorded solar eclipse. Throughout the centuries, Chinese astronomers devoted substantial efforts toward predicting eclipses. However, like all similar efforts prior to the Renaissance, this could only be by empirical research. The earliest record of a solar eclipse comes from the ancient Chinese history. Ancient Chinese astronomy was primarily a governmental activity. It was the astron uh, astronomer's rule to keep track of solar, lunar, and planetary motions and explains what they meant to the ruling emperor. So we also have the 2000 to 1500 BC Balnuaran of Lava. This particularly site is made up of three individual cairns that, as a group, form a straight line um, northeast to southwest. The term clavas was originally used in order to categorize um, three 
<coughs> to, to categorize these three cairns. Two of the cairn um, entrance passages align exactly with the sun's setting position on the winter solstice. One thousand to eight hundred BC fossil stones and yeah, um, Yajnavalkya. You can see this picture. The standing um standing stones arranged in straight and uh, straight lines and in circles. <clears throat> These stones mark a burial ground to for the ancient Vestini tribe, located in Italy. The stone slabs that are set in straight lines are aligned as to west, the seeing. The cycle of the sun. Indian astronomer that proposes a heliocentric concept of the universe in which the earth is spherical and the sun is at the center of the spheres. Um, for uh, 450 BC, Anaxagoras. Um, Anaxagoras was one of the most famous of early Greek philosophers. He is credited the turning and uh, Athens into a center of ancient study and intellectual activity suggests that the stars are actually suns similar to our own. 280 BC Aristarchus. Aristarchus of Samos, a Greek, first proposes that the earth and all other planets revolve around the sun, not that the earth um, not the earth as it had been believed for years. However, his ideas were, were rejected and not revived until nearly 1,800 years later. <clears throat> Erastosthenes measured the earth's circumference, observed the angles of the noonday sun in two Egyptian cities, seen presently as one and as one and alexandria orientation of the sun's rays at Sini as one and alexandria in egypt on june 21 when arrested arrest eratosthenes um calculated earth's circumference 130 um, bc hipparchus um, hipparchus of greece manages to develop the first accurate star map and catalog that has over 850 of the universe's brightest stars. Hipparchus, the father of trigonometry, also developed the system of epicycles. Everything in the universe revolved in perfect circles, fitting Aristotle's Earth centered universe theories. <clears throat> Five hundred BC Babylonian astronomy, astronomy astronomy plays a central role in Babylonian religion. The priesthood attempts to read the will of the gods from the heavens and advises the king accordingly. This provides a strong motivation to study the sky. Climatic conditions excellent for astronomical observation. Um, a two pi again sky and. Whatever exceptional mathematical talent, suggests small place value number system. <clears throat> so forty five BC, um, Julian calendar. The Julian calendar is a reform of the Roman calendar introduced by Julius Caesar in forty six BC or seven hundred. 708 AUC. It took effect the following year, 45 BC, and continued to be used as the civil calendar in some countries in the 20th century. The calendar has a regular year of 365 days divided into 12 months, as listed in a uh, table of months. A leap year day is added to February every four years. Um, the Julian uh, year is therefore on average 365.25 days long. 28 BC Chinese record sunspots. <clears throat> uh, Xi Xin observed sunspots in the 4th century BC and thought they were a type of eclipse that would spread out from the center. Much later, during the Han Dynasty, more exact records were kept. 
Um, the phenomena were first thought to be the guest stars and to be the moving past of the sun, but later they were correctly identified as features of the sun itself. <clears throat> One hundred forty A.D. Ptolemy. Although many of the Greek discoveries were lost during the Middle Ages, um, the Earth-centered view that the Greeks proposed became entrenched in Europe. Presented in its finest form by Claudius Ptolemy, this ge geocentric outlook became known as the Tol Ptolemaic system. So, we have the 200 AD Teotihuacan Pyramid. The most famous single pyramid in Latin America is the Pyramid of the Sun. According to Aztec tradition, the sun and the moon, as well as the rest of the universe, trace their origins to Teotihuacan. 350 AD Mayan Pyramids, the largest pyramid built by Mayans is situated in Uxmal, <clears throat> Yucatan, Mexico. This place was used as a teaching and discussion session for intellectuals like astronomers, mathematicians, scholars, and priests. This great pyramid is known as the Pyramid of the Magician. Owing to its amazing construction that is aligned with planets that were discovered at that time. 358 AD Nazca culture. The Nazca culture was established in the Peruvian region of Ica. The German archaeologist um, Friedrich Max Oli was the one who discovered the Nazca culture in the year um, 1900. 476 Aryabata. <clears throat> Heliocentric. Theory, moon reflects light of the sun eclipse forecasting. <laughs> so, Chumsun Dai Observatory in Kungju, Korea, this simple um, structure with a central opening in the roof resembles a number of the ancient observatories found around the world. Five hundred AD and as the term uh, is Navajo origin and means ancient enemy. Um, the Pueblo peoples of New Mexico understandably do not wish to refer to their ancestors in such a disrespectful manner. So the uh, uh, appropriate term to use is ancestral pueblo or ancestra, ancestral puebloan. Hundred twenty AD Uxmal Pyramid. Um, Uxmal was a Mayan city of significant importance during the 10th century, which the Pyramid of the Magician is one of the best ruins. It directly faces the rising sun in the summer solstice. Nine hundred forty oldest Chinese star map. The Danhuang chart is the oldest preserved star chart in the world. The star map has recently been dated back to, to the 700s. Um, earlier, it was thought to date uh, the 900s. The map contains 1,350 stars in the 13 sections. One of the most interesting features of the charts is that they used two different methods to display the stars. One was a cylindrical pro projection for the stars around the horizon. 970 Al Sufi, one of the famous Muslim, uh, one of the famous nine Muslim astronomers, made the earliest recorded observation of the Andromeda galaxy. <clears throat> 1000 AD Caracol Pyramid, Caracol's ancient Mayan name was Uswitsa or Three Water Hill. Um, it's clear uh, its early classic name was Uzwitz Ajo or the Three Hills Word. Caracol is the largest Maya um, site in Belize covering about 755, I, I mean 75 square miles. 1054 uh, AD Chinese observed supernova in Taurus. <clears throat> 
the Chinese record recorded the sudden appearance of a guest star in 1054 AD, the scattered remains of that supernova in the Crab Nebula in the constellation Taurus. This image comes from the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA. Um, one uh, 1020 AD Cairo Observatory um, in Cairo, Egypt, a large observatory uh, begins being constructed. Um, it's believed to be possibly the first observatory in medieval Islam, but it's never completed. The observatory's pattern is convicted uh, of communicating with Saturn and executed. In 1925, the observatory was destroyed. So 1003 AD, AD in Kan civilization, the Inca tribe led by Manoko Kapak founded the city of Cusco in the Cusco Valley region. The Inca considered themselves to have been chosen by their gods to rule mankind and believed that Cusco was at the center and end of the universe. 1259 AD, Maraga um, Observatory. Um, built by a Persian astronomer by Nasser al Din al Tusi. So we have the 1380 Aztec civilization. Aztec uh, self named Chua Mexica Nahuatl speaking people who in the 15th and early 16th centuries ruled a large empire in what is now central and southern Mexico. The Aztecs are so called from Aztlan or the White Land, an allusion, an allusion to their origins probably in northern Mexico. Um, Ulug Biggs um, Observatory located near the city of Smar Samarkand in present-day Uzbekistan. Um, Olubig Observatory was built in the 1420s by the T Timurid ruler Olubig, grandson of Emperor Timur the Lame, Tamerlane, known more for his scholarly pursuits um, than his governance skills, Beg proved unpopular um, as a ruler. Alfonso tables. The last great attempt to make the Ptolemaic system of practical use because of the errors accumulated as centuries past. Updated version of the Almagest Ptolemy, Book of Apparent Motions of Stars and Planetary Path, took 10 years to simplify the calculations that are led by King Alfonso. Um, 10 of Castell's astronomers, the first set of astronomical tables prepared in Christian Europe. They enabled calculations of eclipse and the positions of the planets for any given time based on Ptolemaic theory, which assumed that the Earth was at the center of the universe. <clears throat> Uh, Nicholas Copernicus, convinced by um, Aristarchus' writings, the Earth is a planet constructed a heliocentric model for the solar system, used circular orbits, was unable to accurately project the future locations of the planets. Added similar circles or epicycles like those, those used by Ptolemy. Tycho Brahe in 1546 to 1601 became interested in astronomy while viewing a solar eclipse that had been predicted by astronomers. Persuaded King Frederick II of Denmark to establish an observatory in Copenhagen near Copenhagen. Designed and built pointers which, I, uh, which he used for 20 years to systemic, sy systematically measure the locations of the heavenly bodies in an effort to disprove the Copernican theory. Um, Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is the calendar used in the most of the world. It was introduced in October 8, 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII. However, nearly every four years is a leap year with one extra or intercalary day is added on 29 February, making the leap year in the Gregorian calendar 366 days long. <clears throat> Joan Bayer of the 1604 introduces Bayer designation of um, 
<coughs> stars and Greek letters to stars still in use today. A Bayer designation is a stellar designation in which a specific um, star is identified by a Greek or Latin letter followed by the Hans Lippershey, um, Hans Lippershey, also known as John Johann Lippershey or Lippers, Lippershey, was a German Dutch spectacle maker. He's, he is commonly associated with the invention of the telescope because he was the first one who tried to obtain a patient for it. Galileo Galilei, the greatest scientist of all times. Become the first, um, became the first person to observe the moon and planets through telescope. He also discovered four of Jupiter's moon. So Johannes Kepler's law of planetary motion, um, law of elliptical orbits. All planets move in elliptical um, orbits around the sun with the uh, with the sun at one focus of the eclipse. Um, I mean ellipse, law of equal areas, an imaginary line, radial vector joining a planet to the sun, swaps out equal areas in equal periods of time. Perihelion, closest point of the sun, January 4. Aphelion, farthest point to the sun, on July 5. Astronomical unit is the convenient um, unit for expressing the distances in the solar system. This is um, Kepler's third law of planetary motion. is announced by Kepler in his work, Harmonis Mundi, or Harmony of the World. Discovered a basic, basic relationship to relative planets' orbits to their relative distances from the sun. Kepler's third law says that a planet's orbital period squared is proportional to the semi-major axis of its orbit cube. Um, Newton reflecting telescope. The first reflecting telescope was built by Newton. Christian Huygens was a Dutch physicist and astronomer. Found new methods for grinding and polishing lenses, making telescopes more, more powerful. Um, Huygens first identified Saturn's rings and one of Saturn's moons, invented the pendulum clock, increasing the accuracy of timekeeping, proposed the wave theory of light. Newton's theory of universal um, gravitation, Isaac Newton studied optics, divide um, divine the nature of gravity, invented calculus, published his book, Principia in 1687, recognized that force of gravity decreases as the square of the distance between the objects increases. Distance from the Earth to the Moon is doubled. The gravitational force would decrease by 2 squared, which is 4. It tripled 9. So we also have the Oli Rumor. Um, Danish astronomer Oli Rumor measures the speed of light. He was the first to determine the study of the moons of Jupiter that light has a finite speed. Edmond Haley, um, he predicted the comet's return about every 75 years. He also studied the Earth's weather and magnetic field and the ocean tides. Johann Palich observes Haley's comet as predicted by Haley in 1705. Two craters in a valley on the moon are named after him. He was also the first farmer to cultivate. William Herschel, he found the planet Uranus and its two moons and formulated a theory of stellar evolution, discovered a planet beyond Saturn, an organist, composer, and enthusiast of stargazing who would become one of the greatest astronomers of all time. Um, Piazzi. 
So, Miss Year, he discovers galaxies, nebula, and star clusters while looking for comets. He compiles a catalog of these objects, Miss Year objects, identified 103 nebulae as part of his catalog. George Hale Mount Wilson Observatory. Mount Wilson Observatory was established for study of the sun. Joan Gale, he observes and discovers Neptune. His observations were prompted by mathematical calculations by French Joseph Leverrier and English astronomer John Couch Adams. <clears throat> 1908, Hertzsprung. Hertzsprung describes giant and dwarf stars. The correlation of color with the true brightness became the basis of a widely used method of deducing the so-called spectroscopic parallax, parallax, parallax of stars' estimates of their distances from the Earth. So this is the... Um, Hertz, Browns, and Russell diagram. In 1916, Albert Einstein, he came up with many original theories and invented modern physics. He is most famous for his theory of relativi relativity, which makes bold statements about the nature of light, shows the relationship between mass and energy. Einstein's accurate predictions on the link between gravity and space and time. <clears throat> Edwin Hubble, his observations of galaxies helped him to develop the idea of an expanding universe, which forms the basis of modern cosmology, the study of the origin of the universe. He also discovered a relationship um, between a galaxy's speed and its distance. The Hubble Space Telescope, currently on an observation project on space. I mean in space. So this is 1957 Sputnik, first object to orbit the Earth, launched by the Russians. 1930, Clyde Tombo, he discovers a Pluto. Um, Clyde Tombo discovered the dwarf planet Pluto in 1930. He also discovered number of asteroids and minor planets and is one of the supporters of further research to better understand UFOs of, of an identified flying objects. Grote River, um, American astronomer and radio engineer who built the first radio telescope and was largely responsible for the early um, development of radio astronomy, which opened an entirely new research front in the study of the universe. Yuri Gagarin, I mean, sorry. Yuri Gagarin um, in 1961 became the first person in space when he flew aboard the Vostok spacecraft in 1961. He, orbit, he orbited the Earth once in his historic flight. The flight lasted one hour and 48 minutes. 1962, John Glenn becomes first American man to orbit the Earth. He has spent almost 2,000, I mean, 219 hours in space and two space flights. Uh, he flew aboard in Mercury 7 spacecraft named Friendship 7. Apollo mission in 1969. Apollo 11 was named uh, of the first mission to mission to succeed in landing a person on the surface. The U.S. rocket Saturn uh, 5 Saturn 5 was launched and three days later successfully deployed the lunar landing module Eagle, which landed in the moon's sea of tranquility. 1970 Venera space. Group, the Russian Venera 7 becomes uh, becomes first to land softly on the surface of Venus. <clears throat> now we'll jump to Philippine astronomy. 1860, uh, 1865 Observatorio de Met Met Meteorolo 
Rico de Manila. Works, uh, work in astronomy in the Philippines started in 1897. It was one of the functions of the Observatorio de Metrolio Rico de Manila or the OMM which performed not only meteorological and astronomical services, but also seismological and terrestrial magnetism services. Its astronomical activities were mostly um, limited to timekeeping and observation of solar and stellar phenomena. We also have the 1954 Pagasan Astronomical Observatory, a um, new observatory was constructed within the campus of the University of the Philippines in the Quezon City in 1954. It remained there up to the present time. Now under the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical uh, Services Administration or the Pag-asa as the only government observatory from 1954. The observatory has not seen any major, major change until 1998. I mean, 2009, a Korean sansa taken by the RTU astronomy students. <clears throat> RTU astronomy students were able to view and participate in imaging the partial solar eclipse. Um, <clears throat> 250, I mean, 2000. 15 Pag-asa time scale system. In 2015, um, Pag-asa acquired a new time machine known as the Precise Time Scale System of Pag-asa to create a national timing reference and to comply with the requirements of the existing laws in time and frequency services in the country. Pag-asa has purchased new timing devices. Two thousand sixteen, the Water One is the Philippines' first micro satellite designed, um, developed and assembled by Filipino researchers and engineers under the guidance of Japanese experts from Hokkaido University and Tohoku University. The satellite is designed to provide real time images for disaster risk management and other applications. The potential uses of <clears throat> the Water One. Um, improved weather detection and forecasts, disaster risk management, detecting agricultural growth patterns, and the monitoring of forest cover, mining, protection of cultural and historical sites, and the uh, territorial borders of the Philippines. <clears throat> In August 10, 2018, the Maya One, uh, Maya One was developed by two Filipino students at Kyushu Institute of Technology, or the QTIC in Japan. It is still in space since its launch in 2018. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Contains an automatic packet radio service uh, digipeter, which and which can communicate with ham radios. It also carries two cameras that have a wide angle and narrow angle lens to capture images and videos for research and purposes. After two years of successfully completing its mission, Amaya won the country's first non-satellite flew back to the Earth's atmosphere on November, to November 23. <clears throat> October 29, 2018, the Wata 2 is the Philippines' second microsatellite designed and developed by Filipino scientists and engineers under the PHL Microsat program. Also carry an amateur radio unit. This payload is intended to promote awareness and interest in amateur radios and satellite technology in the country. It also uh, intends to provide an alternative means of communication at times and disasters of, I mean, disasters and emergencies so last we have the 2000 uh, 2019 philippine space act <clears throat> president rodrigo duterte has assigned into law republic act 
um, 11366 of Philippine or the Philippine Space Act, which enables the Philippines to establish its own national space agency. The Philippine Space Agency or the FILSA is created under the Act to be the country's official uh, representation in the international space community for establishing cooperation, agreements, and linkages on space development. <clears throat> So that would be all our discussions or topic for this day. So I hope um, na may na-learn sa atong discussion today. So thank you.